uh, Soviet light cruiser. And you can get her for free. Anybody can get her for free with the distant voyage containers missions. Um, this is one of those I would highly recommend going for. It's a free ship. Why wouldn't you, right? Um, if you look at the consumables, you'll know she can take smokescreen. One of the reasons I think she's a, she's a, she's a fun ship. She's a fun, fun ship. Yeah, exactly. As Pac says, why would you turn down a free tier eight? Now, um, Pockington, it looks to me like you don't have any upgrades on the ship. Let's open up the build viewer. Let's take a look. Is that is that true, Pac? Did you not bring upgrades? I, I've got two. Um, I've got two replays to look at. And it's it's confusing as heck. Pac, tell me, is this your captain build? Or is this your captain build? Okay, yes. All right. So you're the first one here with the 21 pointer. Okay. The other one I have does not have upgrades. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look. This is OP Zav or Kuznat Zav or Crutch Zav, however you want to call it. Good to know. All right. So, um, like I said, it's a it's a fun ship. She's got 152 millimeter guns. So they're, they're light cruiser guns. They're Soviet guns. They've got really comfortable ballistics, so that comes in handy, especially at range. Um, and then, of course, she's got smoke, which, I mean, it, it basically makes her a Kutuzov, right? But with, with slightly different characteristics. All right, let's take a look at your build. you got Main Armaments Mod 1, Engine Room Protection, Aiming Systems, Propulsion, and Concealment. It is a sister ship, yeah. Um, and then you've got Kuznetsov, so you get buffed consumable specialist. You get 10% preparation um, for consumables, like mainly your smoke. Uh, you've got consumables enhancements, so your smoke lasts longer, also your hydro. You've got superintendent for more of those consumables, because I, I think you'd agree the consumables matter a lot. You've got concealment expert. Uh, and then you went into Last Stand, Adrenaline Rush, Survivability Expert, and then finally Top Grade Gunner. Now, Top Grade Gunner increases main battery load speed while an enemy ship is within your ship's standard detectability range. So what's interesting about this one is you could be in smoke, and it's fine. Um, yes, when you get to, not distant voyages, uh, the North Pole, the journey to the North Pole, whatever the mission is, the very last stage rewards you a free tier 8. And then you've got no flags, Pac. Obviously, detonation's good. Fire chances are good. Fire reduction's good. Speed is good. Heal, heal doesn't matter because you don't get a heal. Uh, but consumables would be good, too, just to get the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the smoke screen up sooner. Yeah, you don't have no flags, buddy. You don't have no flags. But um, let's take a look at uh, some of the characteristics with this current build as you've got. It's a standard Soviet torpedoes, right? So these things have a, a range of four kilometer. You don't care about that, except when you need like to just charge right in. Your concealment, as you can see, is 11.35. Not too bad, not too bad. And your maneuverability rudder shift time is seven, six and a half. So that's good. Okay, so that's your build. Let's take a look at how your uh, battle worked out. You just read it up in it because you were asked to pick a ship and you didn't think twice. You can see you've got a smoke screen here. Then you've got hydro. Now, I've played against a few uh, Dmitry Podzarskis during the course of the stream today. Um... And I found them quite annoying. I wouldn't say that they were the end-all, be-all necessarily. But they were quite annoying to fight against. Oh, 
Okay, we're good. So this is a uh, random battle. You are division with Son in a uh, Lo Yang, and then you've got Venom Six Actual and an Atago with you. As far as a division makeup, I don't know that I like it. Uh, generally, you want different classes: two cruisers, one destroyer. It, it's going to give you some difficulties here. I think you're better off having a cruiser and a battleship and a destroyer together like those three classes or you can pick a sub or a uh, carrier if you wanted to a skyring says yes skyring is noticed can i get any more of this uh, without no i can't sadly and rip your farragut um what happens when you're in top tier Fortunately for you, someone has left a smoke screen right in front of you, so you can go ahead and utilize that. And you're going to shoot at the Cleveland. Now, worthy of note, you only have AP shells available. Interesting. Interesting. So you can't play like a Kutuzov and just set things on fire. You actually have to look for angles and stuff. So it's like a Kutuzov, but AP only. That's... That's a challenge. That's that's a difficulty. That alone makes me feel like I don't like this ship. Now you've got top grade gunner, so you can see there where you've you've got the proc for that as the Nebraska is heading straight for you. I might shoot the Rook here or the Cleveland. Either one is a good choice. You're shooting the Cleveland. Decent hit there. Yeah, I can see you're holding your shot because Nebraska, but uh, you got detected anyway. Now the Cleveland just pops his I win button radar. The big thing is, what is the Nebraska going to do? Is he going to come after you? You pop your Hydro to find out, and I think that's a smart idea. If the Nebraska wants to come after you, you can shove torpedoes in his face. If he doesn't want to come after you, well, you don't really care. You're pretty much free. Other than that, uh, Mackinson, you don't know what the Mackinson's going to do. But two um, quick kills does get you at least on uh, ship parity, so that comes in handy. Yes, kill the island. The island must die. I probably, probably would have held my shot there. Uh, I don't want to encourage, uh, what was that, the Grash Bay? I don't want to encourage the Grash Bay to dive the island. I want to encourage the Grash Bay to run away so I can punish him, you know what I mean? Napoli black on trap, okay. See what I mean? He's turned in now and that's going to be rough. That's going to be rough. How are you doing, Asteroid, by the way? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, I could do. You lost that Stream Raiders game. No worries. Let's get the next one going. He's moving now. Now is your chance to go for the torpedoes. And you're smoking. Now here's where the Podzarski, Pod whatever it is, comes in handy. You're doing great? Good. I do like that you turn south here. It does get the smoke to go around you. You smoke to cut line of sight, but you know what? You can also turn and get your... You could dump your torpedoes north as well from your other side. I'm surprised you chose not to. I mean, frankly, you might as well, in my opinion. Too late now. But I probably would have dumped my torpedoes anyways. You got Napoli Black from a Black Friday container. Nice.
Oh god. You just got detected right next to a Nebraska. If you're lucky, he's not looking at you, and he's not. He's looking at something else. Like I said, you only have AP, so now you're just APing uh, the upper belt and into his uh, superstructure, which, I mean, you're getting good pens out of this, so keep going. Rip your New Mexico, buddy, by the way. Now, you could smoke here, and I might smoke here just with the idea being when the New Mexico dies, you don't want to be, like... You don't want him to be spotty. You don't want him to turn and look at you. So I think you would have been better off smoking earlier. I don't. Frankly, I don't know why you're holding your smoke here, Pac. I would have smoked a long time ago. Like what? What are you holding your smoke for right now? You've got four of them left. So. Use your damn smoke, in my opinion. God, you even have a carrier coming after you. The Sarah B wants to drop on you. So, okay, smoke fire penalty is 7.1, 7.3. So, I get it, okay. But then stop shooting and then smoke. I just feel like it's a lot of risk there. You could stop shooting smoke and then like wait a bit, maybe torpedo things, whatever. All right, well, regardless, you smoked now. You really didn't take that much uh, damage, so that's good. Enemy carrier tries to drop you and you laugh. Unfortunately, your smoke expires just as you fire your last shot. Poor Grash Bay. Poor Grash Bay. Uh oh. Who's that's up? There it is. Oh, son with the with the key kill right there. Now you can smoke up. All right, you're trying to smoke. Now Mackinson almost has the cap, so you abs no man. Who almost has the cap? Somebody's almost got the cap. So I don't know that you really can afford to stay in the cap. Shino, Shino no me. Who's divved with Mac? I like the decision to go into the cap. Uh, they're at a quarter left. You cannot afford to wait. So this is smart. This is smart. And you are detected by something. Obviously, it's not the Mackinson. I don't like the turn out here. I think, I think you had to turn in, frankly. This new AP Kuzov doesn't have improved pen angles like Minnow. Very minimal. Yeah. I would, I would agree. It's, and. I kind of like that Wargaming didn't release a ship that was as broken as Kutuzov. 
Oh, Pock, you're gonna reverse into the cap? I mean, I get it. Kill the, kill the Mackinson. 10 seconds. You got 10 seconds to get in the cap. You got 7 seconds. 6 seconds. Oh, you got it. You got in the cap. Shoot the... Come on. What are you waiting for? Shoot. Get the base decaps. That's XP. A little late there. Guns returning. I, that's an excuse. I'm sorry. I'm not interested in excuses, Pac. So when the Shino dies, that's GG. I mean, it's just a Seraph. And you died, so that's great because I got myself a death pick, so thank you for that. Thank you for the death pick. Got a death pick. Death pick. Death pick. Death pick. This is the ASMR portion of the stream. Death pick. I am licking your ears. Death pick. Death pick. There we go. There you go as you sink. He died to the Shinonomi guns, that's correct. But the key is he killed the Shinonomi. So, I mean, that's it. It's just a carrier left on the enemy team. So, it worked, actually, in his favor. Nicely done, Pac. Nicely done. Let's, let's fast forward the uh, the replay here. I owe you one. I like how you sink and the the buoy replaces you. That that's cute. That's very cute. That's very cute. Tago dies and Sone takes out the carrier. Let's take a look at your post battle results screens. Not bad, 103,000 damage in a cruiser. You came in third place. Look at that, your division went one, two, and three. And I like that HVAC Eric is also part of this because he is part of Sone's uh, clan. So he probably tried to time in with Sone and he got into the, uh, the game with this Massachusetts. That's kind of cool. Here's your uh, detailed report. Based off this replay, would I recommend Pozarski? No, simply because it's AP only. Um, that's really good information for anybody out there. Let's look at your replay render. I just feel like you lose a lot of the uh, flexibility that you have in front of you. Ash, well, it's a free ship, so yes, get it because it's a free ship. But beyond that, I wouldn't spend doubloons or whatever on it. I mean, I think that's the, that's the difference right there, you know? Right, get it for free if you can. Don't spend money on it. What's up, Shockwave? Hello, how are you? Fine. Yeah. It's much tankier than Kutuzov, I guess, but Kutuzov can shoot HE. Oops. I like Kutuzov because of that. That's weird. That you say that it's tankier than Kutuzov because it's the same hull as a Kutuzov. In fact, it is essentially. I'm just repeating what chat says, that's all. No, I'm just clarifying. It is the same hull as Kutuzov. It's just a Kutuzov, but AP only. And short burst, folks. 
uh, this guy. I believe it's Petro Petro Pavlov's gun angles. Oh, it should be my uh, no, mm -hmm. bounce angles. Now, Loop does enters. Thank you for the follow. I think it's at this point in the replay render that you kind of have to examine, like, okay, how is um, Hawkington uh, moving about like that, right? So once he starts turning back towards the spay, he lost so much health engaging that spay mm -hmm. unnecessarily. Like, I get it, you know, you want to get all four turrets off and you want to try to damage it, but go on, but you're still at that point where you're relatively equal on the number of hits that you have and relatively equal on the number of um, uh, amounts of health you have. So preserving your health by going straight bow in or just minimizing the number of turrets you use. Like, yeah, it's going to take you longer right. to kill the spay, and yeah, it's going to take you longer, but you know, keeping your distance is slow throttling, let the low yang torpedoes come in and deal, help you with the spay. Just chuck torps at him. Like, yeah, he's got torps, but you can just turn into them and avoid them, and you'll be fine. You gave up. Right. He, Hawkington, well, yeah, I mean, you're giving, you were giving way too much angle there, uh, Hawkington. Like, I, I could see that. I was like, oh boy, he's going to get set up once or twice there, even with garage phase and accuracy, accuracy problems. And so I was like, well, you might have. I mean, it's a spay, so a spay can do that. Yeah, and so it, the better option in that situation would have just been to go bow in. You would have had a lot of health left, and, well, you were at, like, 25,000 when you finished that engagement with the, uh, like, around 22,000, 23,000 health when you finished that engagement with the Nebraska and disengaged. So that's 22,000 mm -hmm. health you could have saved for the Mockinson and the Shinonome and the Seraf. I don't know. Might have, uh... Yeah, you probably take like four or five thousand damage if you angle if you angle into the spay, but it's still a lot better than having because that's all go off and having like five thousand health. So, uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Kuruzev and armor aren't exactly two things that go together at all. That, that is true. And that's correct, Ujam. You do need to worry about smoke fire penalty. And we saw that earlier. Uh, you either keep shooting or you don't. Honestly, I really felt like you had an opportunity to stop shooting there, just go dark, and then torpedo things. You didn't. Um, okay, that's fine. It's a nice game anyway, Pac. I mean, it does showcase the strengths and weaknesses of the Bazarski, so I appreciate that you uh, shared that replay. All right. Um... So I need to do something for stack up that's very important. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, switch over. Pac, thank you for sending the replay in. And for all your support, as always, Master Iron, you are amazing, sir. We're going to go to Stream Raiders. 